Today I have the LG Expo, which is a Windows Mobile 6.5 device with a slide out keyboard, Windows Mobile 6.5, uh, 480 by 800 VGA screen, pretty much everything. We'll look here at the box. Uh, got all the bands that you'd expect on an AT&T phone. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as expected, 480 by 800. Uh, sports micro SD card up to 16 gig, which is probably 32. Uh, a GPS, blah blah blah, 5 megapixel camera. It's also got an optional, which does not come with the phone, an optional Pico projector that you can attach to the back of it and project movies on the wall without having any kind of extra equipment. So without further ado, we will open up the box and see what we got. Manuals. Stupid manuals. Who needs manuals? The device. And under all this junk, oh, well, AT&T's changed their box up a little bit. It's actually foam instead of just paper. You have a charger, uh, AC to USB. Uh, actually, it goes directly to, no, USB, okay. Then you have a audio headset here that goes from micro USB to so you'd have no three and a half inch or three and a half millimeter jack. You have USB to micro USB charge sync cable, and you have a battery, which uh, the size of it is 15 milliamp hours, 1500 milliamp hours. That's pretty good. And then you have this little lipstick-looking stylus, which will stay right there. What do you think? So anyway, let me get some juice on this, charge it up, and we'll give you a hardware tour and a software tour in a little bit. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back with the LG Expo, and we've already taken it out of the box, but here is the actual device. And uh, as I told you, this is a uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 device with a 480 by 800 screen, um, micro SD slide, all that good stuff. So let's uh, take a look. First, we've got the stylus here, which uh, you can actually connect to the lanyard connector there. Uh, it's kind of interesting that there is no silo on the device to house the actual stylus. But what they give you is this lipstick-like case for a stylus, which is kind of neat. It's a decent stylus. It's pretty big. I use it to point some things out. Um, so on the device, you've got, like I said, the uh, 480 by 800 screen. It's WVGA. Uh, it's running Windows Mobile 6.5. And it is a touch screen, as you can see here. Um, you got your speaker here, you got some sensors here, and you might be able to see that through the video. On the front, you've got your AT&T logo, your talk, send, hang up button, your back button. Here is a biometric scanner here that is surrounded by an actual D-pad, which is very hard to use. This um, little metal bezel here kind of makes it difficult to use. And as you can see, you can actually scroll your finger oops uh, we got the you could scroll but it's really tough as you can see I was actually it it's it's I don't know it's you can get used to it but it works but it's kind of tough to use as you can see I am using it but it's take it, it'll take some practice to get used to but it also doubles as a biometric scanner so you can actually set your security to where it only recognizes your thumbprint to turn on or fingerprint. So on the left side, all we have here at the top, you have that lanyard connector I was referring to, your volume up and down buttons. On the top, you have, and this is a uh, micro or a micro USB uh, charge sync port underneath here, which uh, I don't understand really why they put it on top, but hey, we'll see. Uh, your hold and uh, power button on this side you have your camera button and this is a multi-touch or a multiple function button that you can pretty much assign to whatever you want to and then here you've got your micro SD slot or micro SD slot I think I call this a micro SD micro USB connector there for charging and syncing on the bottom you have nothing looks like a little speaker port there on the back you have 5 megapixel camera with a LED flash there it's a 5 megapixel autofocus 
Uh, then you've got your battery cover, which is uh, taken off a little different than some of the batteries on the other devices that we've seen with HTC. Uh, under the battery here, you've got your, or under the battery compartment, you've got your 1500 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty dig. I'm huge. Um, well, we're not, yeah, I'm going to take it out. Let's we'll see here. Um, I don't have a SIM card in there right now, but this is where your SIM card would go. And that's it. 1500 milliamp hour battery is pretty hot for this size device. I, I really like that. So we'll put that in that cover sound. If you can hear that, that's a metal backed cover. Uh, just pop that right there and it slides open. So uh, the strength of the device is obviously the, it's got a um, Pico camera that you can get optionally for like a hundred bucks for it. It fits on the back. It makes it kind of tall though. I don't actually have that to show you. I wish it did, but it, you know. <laughs> but this is a really nice keyboard here. It's a slider and it's really not that thick for a slider. You would not assume this is a slider just looking at it I mean looking at it next to like the touch pro 2 which is the AT&T tilt on AT&T's network you wouldn't really imagine that it's a pretty thin slider it's not quite as thin as the droid but really nice keyboard if you can see that those keys are really nice it's a four row layout center uh, the space button is good enough you've got your numbers I, I prefer the five rows with the numbers across the top but this works too. Uh, you see, you got your numbers here in the that are highlighted by blue. Uh, when you're using your phone application, you don't have to actually use your function key to hit those numbers. It's automatically ready for you. So, really nice feeling keys. So that's it on the hardware. Let's take a look at it uh, next to a couple other devices. Um, the stylus, the lipstick stylus thing, isn't new to the LG Expo, the um, LG uh, View here, or oh, Insight, excuse me, <laughs> I'm getting, ex uh, yeah, uh, it also had the same thing, this is the LG Insight that came out last year with Windows Mobile 6.1, uh, the View, or the Expo was a little bit taller than the, than the um, Insight, about the same width, the Insight does not have a slide out keyboard though, and that's it. Um, let's see, let's get with the uh, customary iPhone 3GS here. There's your comparison. And it's a little bit shorter than the iPhone 3GS. This cover that I have on the uh, Incipio cover from the iPhone 3GS is not adding much depth to it. So, as you can see, there we go. So, uh, the big boy here, the HD2. There you go. Uh, let's look at it with some keyboard devices. You might have seen the uh, Fuse, or you might be using the Fuse. Here's your keyboard side by side on the Fuse. The Fuse is quite a bit thicker, but it's shorter and more narrow. Um, going, if you're really back there in the day, here's your. Uh, Tilt the AT&T tilt, and oops! Wow, I hate dropping phones. What do you think? Tilt is quite a bit thicker, and finally the Tilt 2, which uh, I don't have the Tilt 2. I have the Touch Pro 2, which is the European version of the Tilt 2, but it's the same exact device, almost to the T. And there you go. The Tilt 2 is uh, quite a bit bigger. Width-wise, height-wise, it's about the same. Width-wise, it's about the same. But thickness-wise, the Tilt 2 has the, the um, Expo covered. And as you can see there, it's a little wider, just a tad bit. So anyway, let me get some... Uh, I'm not going to have my SIM card in here because, uh, well... I just don't, but let me...